What's good, YouTube land? That Weird Collector here. Today we're taking a look at War for Cybertron Siege, Leader Class, Leader Class, Shockwave. It's so nice to finally get an like a cla another classics style Shockwave toy. Here's his instruction, his goddamn instruction booklet. It's freaking huge. There's the guy, there's the gear, and there's the frickin' box. He's a leader class toy, he's $69.99. There's Shockwave doing a pose he actually really can't do, because his hand doesn't have any articulation. There you go. In a lab somewhere, cr what looks like crushing somebody's arm... Leader class, class A leader, and a class A leader. Because that joke never got old. And there's an even bigger shot of the vo of that picture. Is that... That's... Mm -hmm. Is that Chromia? I think that's Chromia. Oh, and there's Ratchet right there. So I guess we're going to get a Siege Chromia at some point? And Ratchet. Hell, I don't mind. And there's Shockwave with the stuff he can do. The other... Oh, I might as well talk about this now. The other leader in this wave is Ultra Magnus. I have not yet been able to acquire an Ultra Magnus. I saw one with a Shockwave in a store one day, and I picked Shockwave instead. And because I didn't want to spend too much money, I bought the Voyager Optimus Prime instead of both Leader Class toys. That was a mistake, because Optimus is way more... Way easily... Hmm. <laughs> there are more Optimus on shelves than there are Ultra Magnus. I have not seen another Ultra Magnus on any shelves. I want that freaking Ultra Magnus. The War for Cybertron Trilogy. I swear we need a new War for Cybertron Transformers game. Something to wash the meh taste of Transformers 4. Which I will get to eventually. But here is... The, uh, here is Shockwave. We're going to ignore this. We're going to ignore that for now and just talk Shockwave. He is not a Leader Class toy. He is a Voyager Class toy with a set of armor. Let's get it out of the way right away. He is not worth $70. Here he is with Voyager Megatron. He's slightly smaller than Megatron. I will... I will drop Megatron, and I will... Ah, oh, that's just great. He's looking at me like, why must you drop me? If this gun, if this fusion can were real, I would kill you. There you go. He's slightly smaller than Voyager class Megatron. Hmm. Which, the only reason he's seventy dollars, he's classified as the class toy, is this: the set of armor for Ultra Magnus. It makes sense. 
for what they did with him because they did the white optimus as the robot as the base robot mode and which is a remold of the toy we'll get to in a bit and then use the ultra magnus armor as a set of armor to up the price that's still bullshit but it makes more sense than shockwaves does but here's shockwave and i will take away the gun that he is using because frankly Shockwave don't need no guns. Shockwave is a gun. Just like Megatron doesn't need guns, and yet he has a gun. But this is a very nicely done, a bit overly detailed, but still very nice classic style Shockwave. And whoever did this light piping is my fucking hero. Because it's literally on top, and no matter what you put behind Shockwave's head, as long as there's some light right there, it will light bright yellow. I wish everyone else in the toy line since Combiner Wars had this style light piping. Shockwave is the only one apart from, I'm going to say like light speed from the, uh, not the Protectobots, the, the guys who built Computron, the Technobots. He is the only other one I can think of since the Thrilling 30 line who has proper light piping. I don't know why Hasbro hates light piping these days. But, yeah. I'm looking at it, it's, uh, it almost comes off as a different shade of purple behind the camera as opposed to what I'm looking at on screen. But it's still appropriately shockwave. We can take a closer look at that mono eye. It's very shockwavy, very appropriate. He's even got the backpack, which is like the standard shockwave kibble, and his hose, which can plug into any of the 5mm ports on his arm. He's got one, two, and uh, three. And it can even plug into his backpack, which is a bit of a tight fit, so I don't really want to do it. But overall, he's very classic, but he's got a bit, like, over detail because the original cl classic shockwave g1 shockwave has is very flat when it comes to detail this guy has almost way too much detail on him it's like it's everywhere all the panel lining i mean it's not bad besides the fact like it just it's it looks cool but it's just it might be a stickler for g1 purist. And he looks a bit skinny. Like, when I think of a leader class toy, here, this is oversimplified, but he's the same kind of simplified. That's leader overlord. That's the size I want of a leader class toy. That's what makes me part with $70, not just the fact that it was Shockwave. Because the only other Shockwave I have is the uh, Dark of the Moon. Voyager Shockwave. So, when I heard, oh my god, you guys, when I heard they were making a leader class Shockwave, and I didn't look at the pictures, like, I'd forgotten what the pictures looked like, I was so ready for this size, like, of a Shockwave. But, no, we didn't get it. Have to readjust some stuff off to the side that I, that I keep knocking over. Oh well, I'll do it later. Yeah. Articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint. Very nice range, it can go down. Can't really go back due to the hinge. Can't go up, well, you can go up about that high. Left. Woo do 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 do. Bobble bobble bobble. Shoulders are on, a, on this joint for transformation. They're also on an outward joint, which this one is a bit weaker than this one, so you want to put a little bit of pressure when you move this one. You have the full around bend, uh, bicep swivel, uh, slightly over 90 degree elbow with a proper looking elbow and everything. And he even has a wrist swivel for his gun hand. He can do he can do cool stuff. 
and he has an Arbat symbol on e er, a Decepticon insignia on each arm. The backpack is multi hinged, but that's did, 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 more for transformation. Did, 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 more for transformation. Does have a waist swivel? Doesn't get him like hindered by anything. He's got a hard point right on his hip. He's got a hard point on each shoulder and one on each uh, thigh. His hips go all the way out, all the way out, and ratchet forward. With a nice click, his his knees make that nice clicking sound. He does have a thigh swivel right there. Go for about 90 on the knee, and he has a bit of a toe joint. It just swings side to side. It's a little hard to use. But yeah. That's all for for Shockey's robot mode, and that enough. That is enough to make somebody want a classic style Shockwave. If he was forty dollars, hell, just that alone, he'd be more than worth it. But we have to deal with this thing. His armor set up. So first thing you can do with it is, according is on the box, you have the the pegs. Which I have to be specifically looking at. Do, 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 do. Uh. Uh. No, come on, you. Where is the connector? There it is. He can ride it as lamely as that looks. How does the box do it? Oh, right, it pegged on one and then knee bent. And Blah 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 action pose so hey um the thing is a tendency to not stay together it's not connected very well we can do something like that that's kind of cool. But then, it turns into armor for Shockwave. Where we take this piece off, take this piece off, take the, take off me, and then you have all of this, all of these pieces. Get Shockwave ready. These pieces, the wing folds down, and I drop it. I have a tendency to drop everything, apparently. It it it's pegged on to his foot using the same peg that we used seconds ago. And there you have some you have twin double guns on his feet. And then you take this piece and you rotate you hinge those gun, those double guns out. Uh, where do you want to? Which I don't even think it care, cares which way. Just uh, put it on the backpack, and it'll peg into peg holes on the backpack. And you can play it out like a little skirt, like a skirt and a, like a butt flap. And then you take these pieces. You rotate them so they're like that, and you plug them over his shoulders. Do the same thing on the other side. Quack. There's a peg right in there, that pegs right into his shoulder. And there you have Shockwave's Super Robot Unnecessary Mode. And okay... This is too much for Shockwave, in my opinion. You know what? Let's give him more guns. Why not? Now he's got three gun hands and a gun that's a robot. He's got double, double guns on his feet. 
and on the backs behind him that are pointed at people wanting to stab him in the back. And he's leaning because it's freaking hard to get him to stand up properly. There you go. Just because the feet are so fucking off balance. Like, the ratchets don't have much give in them, so it's really hard to get him to, like, properly pose. Like, mm. well, no, 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 no. Oh, and these things each have an elbow and a wrist. Or not, well, they do have a, a wrist. But they have an elbow and a uh, bicep joint. So you can just murder the shit out of everybody! Completely unnecessary! Shockwave is strong enough where he only needs one gun. His gun hand. That's all he needs. So, it's a cool add-on. It's not worth the price increase. But, oh, we're not done with this stuff yet. We have alt mode to get to. So, take it all off. Take it all off. Take it all off. We'll take it all off. I can't, I'm not good at singing. I'm not good at singing. So, Transform Shockwave into his basic alt mode. You pull forward, fold the head in, and tap it back into place. Grab the backpack. Rotate it forward as much as you want. Uh, fold the arms up, and encapsulate them with the backpack. Fold that back in for now. And take the thighs, rotate the thigh, rotate the legs at the thighs. You can grab this piece if you need extra support, but you want to pull up and hinge out and rotate up. And then you want to fold the leg in on itself and tab the control tower, half of it, into place. So it looks like that. Does it? Looks like that. Second verse, oddly, same as the first. And then just tab the tower together, plug it in, and the legs will tab in, and then you can plug that in there. So this is Shockwave's basic alt mode. It's supposed to be like a, a plane, or like something that can fly, but it honestly it just looks to me like it's his G1 gun mode, but flipped upside down. Like, you can just pretend, pew pew, this doesn't tab in very well, but even feels like the, like the trigger in his gun mode. Because just like Megatron, he was a gun. He transformed into a gun. Into a G1 gun. Into a G1, if you will. But even this, this is enough. And this is hilariously his, uh, his rude mode, if you will. Yeah, I'm just going to leave you with that right there. Do with that what you want to. But... Then we have a super vehicle mode, because all these things can then plug back onto him in in a specific way. So, take this backpack piece, tab it in right there where it used to be, and you're going to want to tab these tabs into the sides at the same time. Well, you have to first have to find that there, there's one. And then you want to take these guns and plug them over the shoulders, which is kind of a pain. It's doable, but it's a little bit annoying. And do the second one, because the guns will tab into each other. 
And there you have that part. And keep this in. This is a really loose connection, though. And for landing gear, it's hilarious. That's your landing gear. Really. I mean, even this with the with like the in big and barrel, it still looks cool. Like it still looks like a gun. But then we take these pieces, put them back right there, and then they tab in or peg in and peg and tab into his shins. Same thing on the other one. And there we go. And then you take these pieces and then they peg in to the side of this thing with a small peg there to per to become some kind of wings. And that is Shockwave's full super vehicle mode. <sighs> Again, even the feet look like they're trying to be some Macross missile spam. Like, it's too many guns! Like, this could look cool, and I think it admittedly kind of does look cool, but Shockwave isn't the kind of character that needs all these guns. I don't even have a place to peg in the freaking... Oh, the Target Master. Like, there's no place to plug the Target Master into Shockwave's alt mode that I've seen on this. Uh, okay, we've got two, four, five, six. And then all the bottom stuff that is pretty much useless if you want to put the thing down. You know. That might make that might make the most sense, but okay, it does it stays off the ground somehow. Never mind. It's too many guns. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guns. Not to mention the Macross missile spam. Like I didn't know you could butcher a character as hard as they butcher Shockwave. Like, the toy itself is cool. Like, the robot mode is all you need. A cool robot mode that turns into a ship that kind of resembles his G1 gun form. That's all you need on a classic Shockwave, really. But no, they, they went and added all this extra crap and armor bits and super modes and blah de blah de blah Oh, and I didn't even mention he has a wrist swivel on the hand that's not a gun. I mean, it's cool, and I recommend Shockwave as a figure because people need a classic Shockwave, and this is as close as we've gotten in a long time. Unless you go freaking Cyberverse or the Kid route. But if, you, like, for a, for an articu a well articulated classic figure of Shockwave, this is as good as we're going to get unless you're going Masterpiece. And Masterpiece is expensive. And this guy is overpriced. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to end that there. I'll probably bring it up again if I ever get and review Ultra Magnus. But until then, and until the next review, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Until then, keep it weird.